Guys, this is the third and final part of my response to the legal notice sent to Rajendra Singh threatening to sue him for defamation for damages of 10 crore rupees. Now, it appears from this notice that they are planning to sue Rajendra <coughs> and sue Alvin Dantas for 10 crore. I haven't seen Alvin Dantas, but I suppose it's 10 crore. Uh, without suing me, it appears that they are trying to sue them without suing me. Boys, I am a necessary party. I am a necessary party. You don't get to sue them without suing me because everything was published on my channel, my YouTube channel. Friendly suggestion here. Your court strategy is not going to work out. Your best case scenario is that after struggling and I don't think this best case scenario is playing out because you're on the wrong side of the law. But let's assume just for a moment that your best case scenario plays out. Then you are going to end up making me, you, you know, trying to get Google and YouTube to delete the videos on the strength of an interim order possibly. That's your best case scenario. I don't see how that can play out. You know the worst case scenario? And by the way, before that best case scenario, I promise you that there will be at least a hundred more videos discussing your conduct threadbare, discussing your application form terms and conditions threadbare, the ones that you dare not read in public, discussing your agreement formats threadbare and giving plenty of <clears throat> uh, uh, cases, case studies like Rajendra, like Alvin and Devdas Acharya. You are kidding yourself if you think that you can get me to delete all of those from social media. Not happening. Not happening. So your best case scenario is that maybe you get a few videos deleted but boss, a whole lot of other videos are going to happen and trust you believe you me the longer you try this badly advised misguided strategy of suing us the longer you are going to take a beating because you are simply continuing to expose your own misdoings in the eyes of the public and what is your worst case scenario? Your worst case scenario is you're going to lose. And that is the more likely picture. Because like I said, you're on the wrong side of the law. You will lose. You will lose a legal case against us. The court may not order you to pay back the money. But the court will tell you that you will get no favorable orders because this is not defamation. It is You will not be able to prove that anything Rajendra said or anything Alvin said or anything I published in my videos are defamatory or anything other than fair opinion, justifiable opinion. That is the overwhelming reality, the overwhelming probability. That is where you guys are going to get the beating of a lifetime. Please remember what happened to Loda. Try to learn a lesson from it. So what am I advising you guys to do? Come clean. Pay back these people. There are a lot more people whom you got to pay back money. Pay it back before they come to me. Because if they come to me, I don't care how many cases you are going to slap. There will be a video. There will be a series of videos. Don't do yourself that disfavor. Don't hurt yourself. Pay back the money that you owe to these people. Don't try any underhanded tactics. Don't try to negotiate with me. Don't try to reach out to me. If you must reach out to me, it will be for a discussion on merits of what exactly you guys have done. You want to do that? In public domain, welcome. I will welcome that opportunity. You want to do that privately? 
for your own knowledge and to understand and maybe correct yourself. I promise not to record you. I promise not to publish that discussion. If you are sincerely making a mistake, that's a chance to correct yourself. I'm giving you that invitation. Let's sit down and talk. Don't try to bribe me. Don't try to bribe me, buy me out. Don't try to silence me. Don't try to intimidate me. It's not going to work. Let's talk on merits. Let's talk about the merits of what you do. Forfeiting money from people. Let's look at a solution. You may have practical difficulties. Let's look at solutions. Some of those things, those solutions are going to be like bitter pills. Fine, you got to swallow those bitter pills. Those bitter pills, swallow them. Change. Change yourself. Improve. You want a good reputation. I promise you, I promise you, I will personally endorse you if you clean up your act. I will personally endorse you. I promise you that. I do not endorse a single builder. But if you guys clean up your act, stop forfeiting money, clean up your paperwork, clean up the application form, clean up the agreement format, clean up your method of selling, of mis-selling, I promise you that I will personally congratulate you for being leaders, for being true market leaders in a stinking real estate market. I hope that makes some sense to you. And if not, there is no other way. Your legal team is woefully misguided. Your peer team PR team needs to be fired. There is no way you can sue your way out of this. This is me speaking directly to you, Runwal. You can try to sue me for this video. You can try to take advantage of this video and try to sue me saying, see, see, this is his intention and all that blah, blah. But remember, it is your actions that enables you to have either a good reputation or a bad reputation. The same goes for me. The same goes for all of us. The rules are not different from you. For you. The rules are the same for you. Same for me. It's our conduct. With our conduct, we build our reputation. With bad conduct, we lose our reputation. And if I am exposing something, I am exposing bad conduct. Nothing personal. Think about it. I am Krishna Urban Naksal. जय हिंद जय महाराष्ट्र जय जवान जय किसान